Big man up. But yeah. the question I do want to ask you, like you said, you have you've done like a lot of shows. You know, you performed everywhere. Um, talk about talk about your experience on um, for younger artists that that didn't that don't know how to that want to start getting out there from shows. Like, where can they start finding oh, the first pet you shows at? Shit. Talk about your first. Well, experience one shows, niggas. All that. A lot of these niggas gotta put their pride to the side. Find these open mics. You know what I'm saying? Like, reach out to these promoters. Um, and it it gets tricky. Sometimes you got to pay to play. And that's one thing I literally had to tell myself. You had to pay to play. Don't feel no way that you spending $10, 15 to get an open mic. Like, nigga, we are, it's a community, right? Like, niggas pay taxes to keep the fucking streetlights on. Right, it's a community. We need shit to come together. We need the money to keep the shit moving, right? Mm-hmm. So, when you go to these open mics, don't feel no way about because you paying to perform. A lot of niggas don't go to open mic. No, it's it's tons of them. Like it's tons. I Poetry used to go now. to them as my. As that's a what casino. I'm saying. Right, that's what I'm saying. So like, it's that. Um, it's definitely an underground world. That, yeah, that open mic world is definitely. Yeah, it, it is. It is. And um, shit, it's even youth ones. Like shout out Tay Band. She doing something for the for the for, for the. Uh, I tried performing that shit. She was like, "Damn, bro, it's eighteen and under." And I had to respect <laughs> it. I was like, "Damn, fuck, they kicking me out." First, when I was younger, they was kicking me out to eighteen and over. Now they kicking me out to eighteen and younger. This shit crazy. <laughs> Damn. Crazy, but yeah, so you know, it, it, it's shit out here. You really, I mean, listen, I know it's hard. And I'm never gonna be the nigga that's gonna be like, no, you gotta do this and do that. I get it hard. But it's just some shit that niggas just won't do based on their pride and ego and shit like that. Cause they, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas won't pay $25 to, to, to jump in a showcase or nothing. Like, like niggas just won't do it. And it's just like, too entitled and, to I, do it. and me personally, I feel like. If you're if you're willing if you're if you're willing to say that like oh I'm not gonna pay this ten dollars yeah. like do you really think Rihanna just drops a song and it just goes number one like no. they put millions of millions dollars of dollars and, and don't and, and, don't and, see that and, as a consumer and I had to tell myself this stop comparing yourself the motherfuckers who got million like I had to tell myself that like I can't be mad if I only got motherfucking two three thousand on a, on a, on a, on, a, on some streams or videos or whatever the case may be like I can't be I can't look at a nigga like fucking Lil Yachty or Drake or somebody like that and be like, man, what the fuck? That what that don't make sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like it just don't, right? Like, what the fuck? It just don't make sense. It so, make sense. yeah, step definitely stop playing a compare game. Stop even with even with other fellow artists that's from your your your, your local area. You don't play the compare game. You don't know what the fuck they got going on. These niggas be having all kinds of shit going on. I don't want never gonna get into in depth about. You know what I'm saying, but you don't know what niggas got going on. You don't know what who niggas know. This that and the third nigga uncle might own his own studio and just let him record for free. Yeah, so that's that's one bill he ain't got to worry about. Exactly. He might got a cousin who who just got a camera and just mm-hmm. want to record some shit. Now he ain't got to pay for video. Like you just mm-hmm. don't know. So or it's, his his uncle cool with somebody at Spotify. He got him at some random playlist. I mean, shit. Like that's how it go though. That's you how you have it go. to worry about yourself. I learned this shit from King Los. He said everybody has their own journey. I never forget it. And he said it. He said, King Los? King Los. What? OG. Uh, he is OG. OG. My God. I I, I was 16 years old uh-huh. um, in a cypher with him. In a cypher with King Los? So you ain't do, you ain't do all the research. That, I didn't, that shit on YouTube. I, that's my fault. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you, bro. No, for real. But yeah, nah, nah, that. nah. That's nah. My, that's yeah. what, that was, I was listening to him, too. Yeah, oh, I, yes, yes, for sure. I, man, I talk know. About, talk about that experience. No, wait. Before we... I'm, we're going to get back to that. Yeah. But we need to finish, so... Uh, go for people that are starting out getting shows. Go to open mics. Um, stop paying the compare game and give them one more. For people um, that are starting out doing open shows. Oh, shit. Um, are you talking about strictly just shows? Yes. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. Re- shows. Don't be afraid to reach out. Just don't be afraid to reach out. Don't be afraid to pay to play. And what was the last one? Shit. <laughs> um, you said open mics, and then you said. Yeah, but that's basically don't be afraid to pay. Don't be afraid to pay to play. Said don't play the compare game. Don't play the compare game. Do do what you got to do. Be on your own journey, like straight up and down. Like do what the fuck you got. I don't give a fuck if you, I don't know, run out of Airbnb and just start having little shows in the basement or some shit. <laughs> I like whatever you have to do, do it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like create your own lane. You know what I mean? 
Mm-hmm. So. And, and to end off the subject of talking about shows, today is Thursday. This this interview might come out a little later, but hopefully you went to the Saturday show. You said tomorrow, uh, Saturday. No, nah, I'm, I'm I'm doing a quick performance. Shout out Martina Lynch. I'm doing a performance at her showcase tomorrow. Tomorrow Friday. Yeah, I've been rocking out since since I was um, a bit younger. We got a joint together on the No Hype album uh, called uh, Murder Inc. And very, very deep, another deep and in-depth song that I created. Um, but shout out to her. She has a showcase tomorrow. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come out, you know what I'm saying, do a song or two right quick. And then um, Saturday is the big show. That's that's the joint. That's the joint y'all need to grab them tickets for. That's mm-hmm. the joint you need to pull up, bring the cameras out. You know what I'm saying? Like, your, your guy, he's, he's rocking on stage. Um, performing is, you know, it's just always been something that I love doing like since i was fucking 13 14 years old shout out rochelle i said this on my other interview but shout out rochelle she used to throw the parties let it um that was the first time i ever performed i still had uh cds on me i'm giving out cds after i perform couple chicks that was at the show send me them cds years later like yo i found this shit in my kitchen cabinet (laughs) (laughs) so yeah nah (laughs) and this was whack as fuck but you know I was I was 13. That was when I was first starting out, and I you know still trying to figure things out or whatever. But um, yeah, performing just always been something that I love doing. Um, shout out Mook Ali. This is his showcase. He's been doing this thing for a while. Me and him went to middle school together. Uh, we recently caught back up. As soon as we caught back up, locked in the studio. Got a song called Wrong Time. That's that's on all streaming platforms as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I went in. Just, you know, I, I don't know how many bars it was, but I went in on a verse, he went in on a verse, and we, you know, we did what we do for real. Shit. And so, um, uh, yeah, so we we got this shit going on Saturday. Um, and yeah, like I said, shout out to him. I appreciate him. He hit me like, yeah, yo, um, just bring out your friends, your family, your mm-hmm. close ones. Like, let's make this shit feel genuine. Let's make this shit feel like a vibe. He said, yo, you on 25, 30 minutes, do whatever you want. I was like, that's my kind of party. You know what I'm saying? I got, cause I, I like, like I have a lot of songs, yo. Like you do, I yeah. do. 